Pretty difficult being an adult in the UK sometimes these days. You feel as if you're being lectured about your health all the time. The problem we've got is that many of the risk factors for heart attack and stroke, which are still between them the commonest killers in the UK today, are preventable. But the real issue is that you don't know their risk factors unless you have them checked out. High blood pressure is a case in point. It's one of the single biggest risk factors for stroke and for heart attack. And yet your blood pressure is raised for years on end and you know nothing about it unless you get it checked out. Everybody should have their blood pressure checked at least once every five years, especially if they're over 40. As you get older, if you have diabetes, if you're older, if you've had a heart attack or stroke, kidney problems, any other medical condition, you should be getting your blood pressure checked more often. If you're concerned, it's really important to see your GP. And the main reason for that is that high blood pressure doesn't cause symptoms. You feel fine when you've got high blood pressure, but unfortunately, by the time you have your heart attack or stroke as a result of it and wish you'd had your blood pressure checked earlier, it could be too late. That means getting your blood pressure checked regularly, improving your lifestyle. If you are found to have high blood pressure, you may be able to avoid taking tablets at all. If you can cut your weight by just 10%, you can cut your blood pressure by a whopping 10 over five millimeters of mercury. Ask your GP or nurse what that means. That's about the same as taking a blood pressure tablet very often. If you cut the salt in your diet, if you eat a diet which is higher in fruit and vegetables and lower in all those unhealthy things that go down and are so tempting when we're feeling stressed. If you exercise regularly, all these things will help keep your blood pressure under good control. If your blood pressure is consistently raised, your doctor is going to recommend that you take tablets. Now, some of those tablets cause no side effects at all for the vast majority of people. In fact, most of them are pretty well tolerated. But if you find you're taking a tablet which gives you side effects so you feel worse rather than better on them, don't stop taking them rather than going back to see your GP. Go and tell your GP about the problems and they may well be able to find one that suits you better.